We have yet another unit that has a reflective underlying nature. This time it's called the Paper 7. This is not related to the Ezai launch that they are doing. It's completely unrelated. They have the Paper 7, they have the book, folio, and look, a pen. We have no idea any information on this so far. We are simply going to unbox everything, see what everything looks like, how it feels, and do a first time boot up just to see if the pen works and see if there's any other pen integrations from Wacom or EMR. Then we'll hit you up in a future video. Wow. Okay, well, you know, we've done some recent coverage on the Ezai, and I'm just going to do a quick comparison because that's pretty dark. We'll do a we'll do an actual reflective comparison in the future, but I will say that the Ezai was probably on point with saying they have the highest reflectivity natural screen because this is looking real dark. That's like the LCD is like the TV's turned off effectively. It looks black. So let's kind of just do a first time boot up and give some light uh, goings on because um, that's concerning right out of the gates. I could be wrong. It could light up pretty brightly. I'm not sure. So the back just is built great. Oh my goodness. I didn't even flip it over yet. We have a very nice camera bump. I think that's really stylistically nice. I'm not a big fan of camera bumps because when you put it down, you get, it rocks back and forth, but you have this leather insert, which is great. You have their logo, it's mirror finished, embossed, embedded in there. You have an aluminum block around there. The top has the power button. This has the volume up and down. You have a microphone, you have speakers, you have USB-C. This looks great. Does this snap to the side? I don't think it would, right? Oh, it does. Wait, what? Oh, that's weird. Wow, what an odd place for it to snap. Does it snap on this side? It doesn't. Does it snap on the bottom? It doesn't. It snaps here, which is really weird because it covers the volume and the microphone and it sits at a weird angle because it's being obstructed by that. Well, that's a very odd place to put that. I'm not sure I like that. Well, let's do a first time boot up and see what this unit is all about. I guess while it's booting up, let's throw it in the case because this case is really nice. It kind of shares the same leather-esque feel on both of these. I believe this will just snap in. So we'll snap that in like that. There you go. Wow, what a nice little package. This is good. This is really good. Actually, the stylus loop got covered there. There we go. You want to do this and then hopefully this should slide in if I can open it. It's very fresh. So this might need a little working. There we go. Sweet. You know what? Not bad, not bad. I'm not a fan of it snapping to the side in a weird place, but oh my goodness, yeah, this is really dark. Very, very dark. Okay, let's buzz through all this and see what's up. All right, we've used a lot of our LCD in our day, by the way. We've used several Ezai products. We have used the Hisense Q5. We've used the Daylight. We've used a lot of things, the, the Han Wang, Han Spree. I'll tell you, this is extremely dark it is in color which is kind of nice and you see when it does have light when it's good it's great basically and then away from it that's not even really in a dark room because we have studio lights and that's dark and it's gone here look at this you don't even tilt it 45 degrees and it's it's gone i can't even see it anymore from most angles this actually disappears which uh is not boding well for it so far and there's no glow light there's no backlight of any kind, so we can't even make it brighter. But we're going to have to dive into this a little bit more because it's not quite fair just yet. Although, you know what? Here, let me reach off camera and show you guys comparisons against an e-paper product 
and a smartphone if I just put this on like this. So this is the kind of vibrancy we are to expect out of the industry. This is in its stasis form. This is in a live updating form. And this is in a completely bright room, as you can see in this studio scenario. So we hope there's ways to adjust the settings on this. And if there isn't, well, then we'll review it for what it is. This is everything comes in the box with the Paper 7. Let us know if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, and we'll see you on the next one.